Circles of Dreams is a concert, uh, a narrated concert with a, an actor in a theatrical set and images. And it's a kind of magical dreamlike journey to five houses that existed in the 17th and 18th century that had important private collections of paintings and at some time within the walls of the houses, private performances of music. And so it's a bit of a recreation of that experience of sitting in an intimate space and seeing incredible painting and hearing incredible music. Um, imagine that you're sitting in a wonderful big room uh, in Venice in a palazzo on the Grand Canal. One um, end of the wall uh, is made of windows that look out onto the Grand Canal. And if you look out there, you see amazing houses and gondolas going down the river. If you look on the walls, you see Canaletto paintings of the same scenes. And at the same time, you're perhaps listening to some amazing music by Vivaldi. I mean, you can hardly imagine anything more amazing. And that's the type of experience I'm hoping that the audience will, will have when they come to the concert. The houses are in five uh, major uh, cities in Europe. In London, we'll be visiting Handel's house. Handel had an amazing collection of paintings. I hadn't realized this until fairly recently, but he owned 80 paintings, including wonderful uh, scenes by Rembrandt, by Watteau, by Canaletto. And uh, we'll be visiting the Palazzo of Joseph Smith, who was British consul in Venice for many years in the 18th century, and he was the agent of Canaletto. Uh, we'll be visiting a little house in Delft, which was a, a bookshop, really. It was on the main square of Delft um, at the end of the 17th century, owned by a man named Jakob Dicius, who was a bookbinder, and by kind of accident of inheritance, he had 21 Vermeers uh, hanging on the walls of his tiny house. And uh, we'll be visiting the Palais Royal in Paris uh, at the time that it was the residence of the Duc d'Orléans, uh, who had um, probably the most important private collection of painting in Baroque times. He had 500 amazing paintings, many, many Italian paintings. And finally, the Boza house in Leipzig, which was really the, the next door house to the residence of Bach. And it has a beautiful uh, music room in it where they think the Bach family often performed chamber music. A project like House of Dreams allows us to experiment with combining our music with the written word and with visual images. It does allow us to turn a, a different lens on our music. It also creates a different kind of um, emotional palette because sometimes the combination of incredible music and a beautiful image is more than the sum of its parts. It can have an emotional impact that it can be very, very strong.